Hello everybody, it's Jan and Carolyn with the Holistic Institute of Wellness and the Holistic Wellness Revolution. Hi everyone, and today we have our special guest, Amber Kern, crystal expert as we like to call her, <laughs> and just happy to have her here with us. So Amber, welcome. Welcome, thank you. Welcome, thank welcome. you for coming <laughs> on. Today we're gonna to be talking about activating and attuning to crystal healing. Mm -hmm. And we couldn't think of a better person mm -hmm. to have here with us. Yay. To have this discussion. Oh. So, so I know you've been in the crystal world for a number of years and a lot of learning mm -hmm. just that you've picked up on your own. Mm -hmm. So can you just share a little bit about your own experience and, mm -hmm. you know, how you got into it? Yeah, well, they just kind of found me. I yeah. mean, that's that, and that's how crystals work mm -hmm. a lot of times is they find you and you're attracted mm -hmm. to them. And once you find those and you start working with them, you find that they help you in your everyday life. Uh, that was one of the things with me. Um, I just started playing around with them. You know, I wasn't mm -hmm. a kid who really liked rocks when I was little, <laughs> right. but apparently as an adult, yeah. <laughs> um, but they are wonderful. Just you, you, you can feel a lot of people are very attuned to their energy. Mm -hmm. um, they definitely put out uh, signals, mm -hmm. you know, and um, they have a lot of wisdom too. So I just, I just started. Uh, I became attracted to him. I started picking up one or two here and there and just learning. I'm, I'm the kind that I like to, to learn when I get mm -hmm. something I like to learn about sure. it. So that's just through that, through that process over several years and just from messages from my team, messages mm -hmm. from the stones, yeah. uh, I became very aware of you know, what is beyond the paper, sure. you know, what's mm -hmm. written on them. Sure. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if someone's completely new to all this, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as we all have been mm -hmm. at one point, yes. but to our listeners out there that are tuning in and they're not as familiar with crystals, mm -hmm. what are what do you think are like some basics that someone could be aware of to help them activate and attune mm -hmm. to the crystals to help mm -hmm. with their own healing, clearing process? Okay, some basic uh, tools or the basic crystals? Well, let's talk about let's talk about Basically. both. Yeah, most, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's let's start with okay. let's start with um let's with tools. Let's start, start with some with basic tools. tools. Okay. Yeah. So a lot of times people will get energy work, mm -hmm. and your healers will have crystals. Mm -hmm. So it's always good if you have a, a healer that uses crystals on you. Ask. Yeah. You know, ask what they're using, and maybe you go and get, you know, that. Uh, picking up a really good book, um, a wow. really, you know, there's several out there. Uh, Robert Simmons is very good. Judy Hall is very mm -hmm. good. Okay. Um, and, and there is some information on the internet, but I prefer the books. Yeah. Right. You know, because there's so many th different opinions and all that. Um, find those, find those sources of information and, and just, if you're, if you're drawn to a certain crystal, you know, pick it up, go read about it. Yeah. Like yeah. learn two or three different sources of what they do and then start activating, you know, or, or like like the activation would be you using it every day, yeah. you know, or using it in your life. So uh, learn and then you learn to, to, to use it in different areas of, you know, whether it be in your home, your office, do you carry one with you? that kind of thing. Put it in your car. Put it in your yeah. car, <laughs> yes. Meditate with it. And that's one of the best ways to attune to the crystal energy is to just sit with one crystal and get to know it. Okay. You know? Let it become friends with it. You yeah. Know? That's yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Like, because I know the crystals have like a consciousness mm -hmm. yes. and so they also need that instruction yes. correct yes they mm -hmm. do so, like to be activated like right. they would like to ask you you know will you work with me yeah you know uh, or can you help me with this problem mm -hmm. sure so yeah okay. so i figured they want to be in service as well they do they, they came here to work they yeah. want to be in service they do and you know many like to travel like mm. all of our guys all of our crystals they all want to go anywhere we want to go you know you have a box that you have to take our special bag special bag actual yeah bag. yeah and everybody's going i want to go on this trip um yeah so you just they they're they're they are living beings yes. really you know and they are part of us and the beautiful thing is is the crystals are made up of the same minerals that are in our body so we're mm. all the same yes 
They're yeah. all the same. Absolutely. Very good point. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and I was just thinking too, back to the, like getting books. Mm-hmm. Definitely get a couple of different authors. Yes. Because they all bring their, they yes. bring your base foundation information, mm-hmm. which is fabulous. Mm-hmm. But they all bring their own special twist to it. Yes. And it's always fun to get those little nuggets. Mm-hmm. Because if there's one thing in one book. Right. And there's something else in another that's even more important. So you you, you pull all that information together mm-hmm. and you also pull from up there yeah. uh, and the crystals themselves and it, it creates a really profound relationship. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's beautiful. Mm-hmm. Well, I know you brought a few uh, beauties with you today, and do you want to share a couple of those with our audience? Just some recommendations for so from some basics. Some, yeah, some yeah. basics. So our basic, the very, very basic for every everybody knows rose quartz. Mm-hmm. This is a universal. This is universal love. Mm-hmm. This is Mother Mary energy. Um, this is a great stone. Uh, to work with uh, for heart energy Mm -hmm. and just feeling feeling the living being of the crystals this would probably be my first choice of feeling that Mm -hmm. you know and 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 getting attuned to their energy sure um so rose quartz is always wonderful and And what what element would rose quartz go with so rose is water it's heart it's heart throat um, and it's higher realms too. Beautiful. Um, and in, in, you know, in the times that we're in right now, rose quartz, everybody needs rose quartz. Oh my gosh. You know? yes. Gifting rose quartz to people, a uh, mm-hmm. little bitty, even if you have just little bitty tiny stones, yeah. gifting them to you, like your checkout people at the grocery yeah, store, you sweet. know, it's like, man, you're doing a good job. That's you a know, great idea. You, you're, you're the best person, you know. Take them to Trader Joe's. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys need it down there. <laughs> and you'll find rose quartz everywhere. Yeah, which you is will. really nice. You Very will. affordable. Mm-hmm. Get little little chips, little mm-hmm. pieces, yep. or you can get big stones, mm-hmm. but you can mm-hmm. find them everywhere. Mm-hmm. It yeah. helps. And it, that's something when you're talking about <clears throat> um, finding crystals. Mm. Try to go to really reputable shops. Mm. Um, you can get them online. But when you're when you're choosing crystals for your personal self, I I usually don't order in line unless I know for sure what I'm getting. Right, mm-hmm. right. But I like to put my hands on them. You yeah. know, like to resonate with them. Sure. So, I agree. so yeah. So another one that I brought, which is a very amazing crystal, mm. is petrified wood. That's a beautiful mm. one. That's mm-hmm. a gorgeous. And yes. it has a bear. In it. Oh, oh my goodness! It sure, it does. sure does. Yeah, it has, a, has a little bear. In yeah, it. So it does. This is one of the best. One of the best crystals for the lower chakras. Okay. Uh, so a grounding stone. It, yet it does have a higher vibration energy, but yet it is grounding. Okay. Uh, that is one of my favorite, and mm. it has a lot. Like it. It is a. Um, it's all like the lower three chakras, but mm. also uppers. Mm-hmm. And it is just a soothing, uh, gentle working stone. Mm-hmm. And it's an old, wise energy stone. I mean, petrified wood. How many mm. millions of years? Mm. Yeah. You know, so beautiful. this is a beautiful one. Beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. Awesome. And maybe one more that you could share that's a good, you know, just a good so, staple. Yeah. For- so this is, this is interesting. She wanted oh. to come today. Aquamarine. Oh, beautiful. Wow. So okay. this is definitely water energy. Uh, this is one of Neptune's favorite stones. Mm. Nice. Um, it's also a protection stone, but it's also a heart opener too. Beautiful. Oh, nice. uh, yeah. So she wanted to come and she's She's kind of like a little dragon head. Yeah, I can see <laughs> A little it. dragon head. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, she's. It. this is a beautiful stone to work with at this time, where in the time period that we're in. Sure. Because it keeps you aware of everything going on, opens your heart, mm-hmm. uh, is protection. But one of the best things is, is it opens your throat chakra mm-hmm. so you mm-hmm. can speak your truth. Yes. So Very she, important. She said that was her message for today. Okay. Oh, speak your truth. Nice. I love it. Love it. You know, and I yeah. love that you um, you brought in, you know, mm-hmm. just a nice selection. But two mm-hmm. of the stones that you've shared contain the water element. Mm-hmm. And Jana mm-hmm. and I both felt very led today. Oh. <laughs> 
to uh, oh, to call from the water healing cards. water cards. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yes. So I think we'll do that. Um, Let's just do that now. Right yeah. Um, so we'll just have everybody, if you will, take a moment, close your eyes, and we're just going to connect in to the element of water. We're going to call in that consciousness of water. And just imagine yourself maybe just floating in a beautiful body of water for a few moments. Feeling the cleansing energy moving all around you. Just lifting you up. Clearing away any heavy, toxic energies. And just bringing you into a state of balance and harmony and alignment. Imagine for a moment as you lay in that beautiful pool of water that all of your chakra centers are lighting up. Activating your rainbow body, your energy body all around you. And again, just feel the lightness that is coming in through the process. And now just imagining yourself standing back on the earth, connecting into the earth, calling upon that petrified wood that Amber shared with us earlier, just to ground that beautiful lightness into the earth. Feeling your energy moving down into the earth like energetic tree roots. And then bringing your attention back up into your heart space. And we just take a moment to call upon the collective energy of the water to bring forth a message today. Thank you. So be it, and so it is. So be it, and so it is. Wow. <laughs> Card that was pulled today is called Water Codes. Water mm. Codes. Water Codes. Ancient wisdom. The intelligence is within you. Beautiful. Wow. Mm. I love it. Nice, huh? Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Okay. Beautiful. Let's see if we can set that right there. So, water has long been associated with wisdom. Celtic legend says that the goddess Ceridin, Ceridwin, had a magic cauldron in which she brewed herbs and that anyone who drank from these waters would acquire great wisdom. Mm. Bridget is another, is another Celtic goddess associated with water, particularly water wells, many of which were named in her honor. Even today, there's a huge shrine to her at Glastonbury's White Springs. It was once believed that the future king of the land had to drink Bridget's well waters to be initiated into his rule. Mm. (laughs) Masuri Omoto proposed that water molecules can carry our thoughts, words, and emotions. This theory has the potential to change so much for humanity. Some believe that through connecting with water consciousness, we can unlock lost wisdom. What if we could remember the lost wisdom of our ancient ancestors, learn from their mistakes, and reconnect to those wise ones who lived in deep reverence of the waters and the earth? What if through working with water we could bring about healing on this water planet? You are an ancestor of times yet to come, (laughs) called to reconnect with the wisdom of nature and the waters, to be guided accordingly. You're a visionary of these times, connect to the intelligence of the waters and lead. Mm -hmm. The activation. If you will please place your left hand over your heart and speak after me. I am ready to unlock the lost wisdom. I am ready to to unlock the lost lost wisdom wisdom. within the waters of the world. Within Within the the waters waters of the world. world. I am ready to unlock the lost wisdom. I am ready to unlock the lost wisdom within the waters of myself. Within the waters of myself. I am ready to remember and to be led. I am ready to remember and to be led. Yes. 
Mm. Mm. Beautiful. Beautiful. I like that. Right? Mm -hmm. That was yeah. awesome, everyone. <laughs> Very nice cool. One. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, Amber, before we close out, mm -hmm. tell tell us how, if people are interested, mm -hmm. so, you know, we've been doing, of course, some classes together mm -hmm. over the mm -hmm. last few months, mm -hmm. but if they want to get in touch with you to mm -hmm. learn more about crystals, I know mm -hmm. you're doing some crystal consultations yes. and other things. Yes. What's a good way for them to reach you? Well, you can go on to Facebook book and okay. go under new earth holistics okay. and message me um you can always get uh i guess contact through the hiw website yes um i have under practitioners uh i'm listed in there so yes. it has my contact information that would be wonderful yeah, mm, yeah. awesome Lovely. Yeah, so reach out to Amber if you want to know more. She truly is an expert. Truly. And um, Amber, thank you so much for joining thank us you. today. Thank you, my dear. Me. Thank you. That was yeah. fun. Thank you. That was a lot that of fun. Wonderful. Thank you all for tuning thank in. You, we are grateful for your support, and we wish you a beautiful month of March. Yes. Be well.